So yes, I have bought myself an Integra. This is a 2000 um, Acura uh, L uh, LX automatic, unfortunately, but hey, it's pretty clean. Um, you know, versus a manual, all these manuals that I find around here are molested. Apologize for the word, um, but uh, yeah, are in really bad conditions. And I found this in really, I mean, not terrible. It was neglected. Um, you know, that they could have taken care of it a little bit more. That's a '92, and when I got that, it was in way better conditions. The interior, you know, obviously the paint wasn't, but um, it was way better like conditions than this one. This one was not tended. Nobody tended to it. Um, I just finished painting the valve cover about a week or two ago. Um, everything was dry rotted. As you can see, it's missing the cap. You know, it's, it gets spilled and stains. I've tried my best. This is just one, two coats of, you know, uh, purple power. The cleaner. Um, I changed the valve cover. Um, well, I didn't change it. I just painted it. I put a, a gasket. You know, all these are new, and you know, and just the seals pretty much. But hopefully it won't leak no more and when i got it all this was black just dirty you can still see gunk down there which is hard to reach but you know now you can actually see the little bin plate on it uh i have to get a new uh, air filter uh, air filter but nonetheless here it is it's not that bad um obviously the paint is horrible and then i took a huge chunk out of it you can see oh, i was so mad with my lawnmower since it's so close to the garage and everything's just so cluttered in here but yeah I was so mad when I took this chunk out you know because I want I mean I still might keep this this is the original bumper um, that it brought it came with so I still want to keep it I want to polish the headlights you know and make them look you know a little bit better but yeah my intentions with the, with the Integra, Integra it's uh, obviously case swap so that's going to be coming in the near future but for right now I'm going to fix her up or fix him up I still haven't decided if it's a he or she uh, needs to upgrade ball joints everything I can hear everything every little nick and crank I can hear it uh, so all that's going to get upgraded new everything going to get replaced I'm going to keep finding see if there's any leaks I mean I do find leaks when I move it but I knew it was from the valve cover. Um, I'm not too sure if my pump is leaking or the reservoir, but there's only two spots that it, you know, I just keep finding little piles of like um, oil or whatever, but nonetheless, it's still there. Um, I do have an exhaust leak because I can smell it inside the cabin. So I do have, apologize, that's a Mustang going by, but yeah, um, I do have a leak going inside because when I drove it, I can feel heat. I can feel, I can smell the exhaust. So it does have an exhaust leak. This does not have the original muffler. Um, it does not have the original muffler. So I'm not really too sure what exactly happened, but um, yeah, it doesn't have the original muffler. Uh, obviously, I already went ahead and dismantled it because I hate this tan interior. So all this is, you know, I'm going to be converted it to black. If I can't find it from a, a donor car or somebody partying out, um, uh, gonna be this painful. panel right here was destroyed it's in the back. So I need a new panel. That one I am going to try to salvage and paint myself. Um, seats. If it wasn't for this, they will be in great condition. This is missing a whole chunk. I'm not even sure if it's repairable or fixable or I'm not sure, but I don't want to keep these seats. I think they're horrible. The tan just looks hideous. It, look how dirty they are. It just makes it hard. I don't know why Integra went with this or the Acura, but yeah, like all this is going to get upgraded, hopefully. Uh, I am leaving. I'm going to clean the roof. This is still staying the same color. This is still staying the same color because I've seen like type R's, like the interior, uh, and then this molding here from the from that right the, the tire. I mean, the, the window. Sorry, but all this is going black. Um, so I have a, a lot on my plate um, to restore this interior back. But yeah, I will be keeping it automatic in the meantime, um, you know, and just running the good old B18, B1 until I part out with it and um, sell it. So, I mean, right now it looks in really good conditions. It, the car has, it has, one, it has a check engine light on, but I'm not too sure what it is. I have to put my OBD scanner my uh, to scan it to see. But other than that, it's it sounds good. It drives good. So, you know, everything seems pretty healthy with the engine. So, the car has 172k um, miles. Everything was original on the car, other than what I just pointed out to you. The muffler. But yeah, I still have the LS meshes here. I haven't had these in a while, in years. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep this, part out with them. Um, so, yeah, I want to keep them, but uh, I'm not too sure at the moment what I want to do. But my intent with the car is 
K series, obviously. Um, obviously, yes, K series. Um, that's a given. Uh, I do want to run power steering, AC, all the luxury you, um, I want on this car. Um, I'm not even sure if it's possible because I believe this is a cruise control. I'm not sure, but I'm going to leave all that to see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'm not sure if I'm going to eliminate or it's going to stay there. I am running ABS. I'm going to leave the ABS in there. Uh, obviously, I'm going to clean the bay. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get a, a shock struck or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I am keeping all of that i might even run I'm, I'm at this point i'm gonna put a caliph converter back replace the one it has in there i'm gonna run the 202 sensors the secondary as well make it emissions compliance as possible um and i'm not even gonna go big with power on this one to be honest it's just i'm gonna keep it you know pretty simple i'm gonna even put rbc's you know i'm just gonna keep it affordable so this is going to be a budget bill pretty much just budget ebay you name it china china parts just ebay um, built everything's gonna pretty much budget as possible um, there's a couple stuff that I'm not going to go budget you know on but other than that everything's gonna be budget um, so stay tuned for this bill it's not gonna be anytime soon because I keep saying stay tuned and I really don't do anything but this is not gonna be anytime soon it's gonna be a long-term project but um, my idea is to make it look like as you can see it right there yeah it's gonna be like a clone um, so I'm excited for it. I'm gonna just definitely. I'm gonna be using a lot more than my sadly um, EG, which I don't use that much, and it just sits here. And um, yeah, it's you know, I sometimes I kind of like don't, I, you know, the love just kind of goes away because I just don't drive the car too much. But every now and again, I try to use it, you know, take it out. But that's mainly my daily. It's an SI 13. That's mainly my uh, my daily right there. So that's what I use every day, and it's comfortable. So this is not, but I still enjoy it. I like it. Uh, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for the Integra built. So slowly but surely, I'll get there. Obviously, time, which I work a full time job, so it's hard to make time for the car and money 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 budget you know everything has to be budget out uh i as you can see i have no room in my two car garage but it's really really tiny so the eg goes here obviously integra's back over there i still have to share space over there these whole thing here take up space i need to unclutter stuff get rid of stuff and make more room which i have made it clear to myself to eliminate one of these so that way i can have more space here because i need to get my toolbox as well in here um, my compressor, all this, uh, yeah, I wish I had a bigger garage or a bigger driveway, but unfortunately where I live, um, there's no, I have no room, so, and uh, the only car that sleeps outside is a white car, this one doesn't sleep here, um, yep, so, yeah, sleeps in here, so, yeah, so, uh, you guys, I'm excited, pull the trigger on this, and if you guys are wondering, um, I, I got this for, um, the guy wanted 3000 and, um, you know, we talked, whatever, and we settle on 27 so not bad for a 2000 um ls it's automatic i mean it does have a little dents you know they're not major you know a couple you know the paint's horrible a couple body damage and stuff like that not not severely you know dents and stuff like that scratches a little bit of rust but other than that the undercarriage is pretty good uh, besides that exhaust leak and all that it's still pretty good so and i drove it about an hour and 40 minutes away and it, it, it drove pretty well man uh, my first B series, so yeah, because I never, never got a B series. I had a D series, and then I went straight to K, and I never, never got a B series. So it's pretty cool now I have a B series. I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything to it. Um, thought about maybe swapping the head, making an LSV tag, maybe making it manual. But I mean, I have, I don't have anything against B series, but it's B series. It's I don't want to say it's dying, but it's hard to get parts. I feel like it's expensive, and I just rather go with something newer and uh, what I know a lot about K. So, I just rather just do that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the build, guys. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And if anybody is an Integra, has an Integra and has parts for sale, hit me up. I am trying to buy a lot of stuff, uh, which I can't find. Like the door handles, for instance. Door handles were were so hard to find. I got some on eBay for 135. Um, luckily, some they lower the price. They're white. I have to paint them up. I need to replace those. Um, I broke a whole bunch of stuff taking the the dash out, so I need to replace uh, like the climate control. I need all the air vents. Uh, I, they're all broken anyway, so those are 
I'm already replacing all those. The e-brake, I'm trying to get it in black. So, or I can paint it, I'm not sure. But yeah, painting painting is a lot, man. Especially the dash, I just finished with the, with the dash. But um, yeah, uh, I'm excited for the boat. I can't wait. I already got some stuff, you know, right there. Got a couple parts already sitting there. A lot of it's just already the stock stuff that I'm replacing. But yeah, I'm excited for this. I always wanted an Integra. It was I. I didn't really want an EG. I actually wanted an EK hatch or an Integra, and I ended up finding this. So I got lucky. So I got this. Um, and then you know I wanted an EK hatch, and I've been looking for one. But this is what I found, and uh, you know this is what I got now. So. The EK hatch is gonna have to wait in the future. I know if I will, if I ever stumble on one and I got the space, I'll probably pull the trigger because it's one of my favorite chassis that I've always wanted. But the Integra was also a chassis that I wanted, and now I have one, so I am so grateful and glad. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. The Integra bill is going to go, and I'm excited. Always wanted one of these, and now I have one. So, let's go. paint this little vents here or mash up everything um it does have some damage here i don't know if i'm gonna get some vinyl repair kit or maybe just glue and make sure that's flat and so when i paint it um it's whatever pretty much and that one right there um i'm not sure about running the same clock because the clock is kind of messed up um so i might get another clock from ebay of course but yeah i'm going to be cleaning this up and uh, vinyl painting it all right so here it is all painted up after what like five coats maybe three i had i just saw a whole entire spray can and i had to like spray it out i mean it's not the cleanest but i mean and obviously we still got these imperfections here that i have to fix i should have fixed them before i painted it but hey it's i'm trying to keep a budget as possible it's whatever um got the vent right there made sure not to paint it over it came pretty pretty decent even though you can still see some of the tan but yeah the dash itself came out looking really good i'm i'm pleased with uh how it came out i still have to let it cure a little bit it's been curing under the sun for for some time now um so i still have to get the evaporator out but I just remember that I haven't evacuated the system or recovered it, so that's that's a fail on my part. But that's I'm not going to do anything, so I'm going to have to right, wait. So we got the dash in the garage. I am taking all the tapes that I put on the connectors to protect them from the spray when I was spraying wildly uh, the dash. So you can see. So I'm never taking one of these out, so I'm not sure if I should be explaining how to take this out. But essentially. There's a bolt here. Um, there's a bolt right where the clock sits, right there. You can see in the back. You had the two at the bottom. Uh, no, on the top. There you go. So two at the top or at the bottom. I'm not sure if this one had three, but you had those. Um, also, you're gonna have to remove the bracket for if you have the SRS airbag passenger. I had to take the bracket out and disconnect it, which it's right here as well. The connector. I have to take the tape outs right there and make sure you disconnect the battery give it about five minutes to let it depower if it has any capacitors or something so that way it won't go off just in case so that's what i did um also um you got the sides right there bolts as well on the sides holding it and um it should come out because that's what i did and come out and then you have to unplug obviously it's from the cluster you got all these assortment that goes underneath the dash uh to be exact there's four of them they were connected you got all these from the radio in the back and the ac and all that and then uh from the climate control and then from here the srs and uh that's pretty much it well you have to take the whole lift and carbon out and it'll come out but yeah right now i'm just removing all the tape that i put from all the connectors uh that i had exposed and uh we're gonna go right in there it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna suck but uh yeah
you can see the dash is pretty much in and it's already like uh, looking like it's taking shape look at that all black interior looks really good well the dash right, so now. the dash is officially in uh, I have to buy these paint these uh, but I mean it was a little bit too easy putting it in but at the same time I did suffer some casualties as you can see I scratched it up because it did not heal all the way uh, I might touch it up or just leave it like that to be honest um, I'm not really caring too much and then at here that's as well but got the light adjusting right there the cruise control back on Cluster is back on. I don't like how they have the automatic. And I just found out when I was putting them back on that it was because I felt something rattling on the side. So apparently the reset uh, mechanism um, was broken inside. So uh, who knows? It's probably was probably like that the whole time since I bought it. So I'm not even sure if it will reset, which I doubt it. So it'll just probably keep going um, and just keep going. So. But yeah, um, hopefully, um, I don't want to change the clusters because that's the original miles right there. But I do want to change the RPM to something a little bit more aggressive. Um, but I don't know, I just might leave it like that for right now. Um, let me see what else. Put the climate control back on. I did break the original one. My, uh, yeah, ass for not doing it correctly. But I did not know that once you pop these out, you got screws in the back that this comes out. But it was pretty dry rotted too. And these are really flingy too. So... Uh, I put a little bit of, you know, like, um, Almeral or Tire Shine, which Tire Shine works perfectly good, and it got, looks pretty, pretty good. Same with here for the clusters. These are really dry rotted, and, um, my, I am going to be using the same old one that came. As you can see, it's broken. The spring came off, and here is the lid for it, but, uh, the little spring mechanism is broken, so... I'm gonna still be using that one for the meantime until I upgrade or whatever. It doesn't really bother me. As you can see, these are still there. Um, so I'm, I don't know, I'm not really tripping about it. So it's gonna stay there as well. And I'm gonna wait to put all that back because I have to paint the glove compartment as well. Because uh, once I uh, recover the Freon, I have to remove um, where the evaporator is at so I can clean it up and the blower motor, all that. Cause it's, it, does have a whole bunch of leaves in there because this car is going to be having ac as well so steering wheel like i said i'm going to be getting a newer one or i mean obviously a black one so uh to match it but yeah so right now i still have a whole bunch of parts as you can see right there still on the loop the back let's see but yeah but um yeah so it's slowly getting there so thank you for watching like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more Integra content.